How to build a superbike. A superbike is exactly what it's called. It's a bike and it's super. It's super lightweight, it's super fast, it's super scary. A superbike is a highly modified street bike that has now been redesigned to compete on a road race track at speeds in excess of 200 miles an hour. Step one, get a road bike and strip it down. Superbikes are based on OEM. What that means is original equipment motorcycle. In other words, there has to be a production bike that you can buy that the Superbike is based on. Superbike engine construction has rules. There's a limit to 1,000 cc's for four-cylinder engine and 1,200 cc's for twin engines. You basically take a stock machine and remove all the parts to make the bike lighter, handle better, and perform better. Step two, from here on, everything on your bike gets an upgrade. Attach tires A onto wheels B. The wheels on a superbike are typically forged magnesium alloy, mainly because it's super strong and super lightweight. Let's see how the type of tire you use affects road handling. Standard grooved tires are great for riding on wet roads, but have limited surface area touching the ground, resulting in less traction and less control on a dry racetrack. But wider tires offer more road grip, resulting in faster acceleration and more control. That's not the place to skimp. If you don't have good tires, you will use your helmet. Step three, rebuild your engine with the lightest and finest parts available. Connect upgraded engine to frame using titanium bolts. Tighten with wrench. Your superbike will top out at 200 miles per hour. Step four, your brakes and suspension are what keep your superbike under control. Attach brake pads A to front and rear wheels B. Attach wheels to suspension C and suspension to frame D. Tighten carefully. Step five, add sensors for monitoring and control. Super bikes and super bike racing is all about pushing boundaries, not just the speed, but technology. They're putting sensors all over the bikes to be able to read every single action that's happening on the bike with the brakes, the suspension, the aerodynamics, the wind resistance. They have wheelie control where there's a sensor that when the front tire is lifting too much off the ground, the bike will automatically apply the rear brakes to bring the bike back down and balance it. Everything about super bike racing wear is high performance, including the leather worn by the rider. It is made from kangaroo hide, which is as strong as cow hide, but more lightweight. It's most durable, it resists tear when drug across the pavement at high speeds, and it's also flexible and easier to ride in. I'd love the opportunity to ride a superbike. I would have loved it more 10 or 15 years ago. The older I get, the faster I was.